Good morning. You've joined me today over by Glasgow, just left Stirling, and I'm heading towards the Devil's Pulpit, which is pretty exciting. I've seen many vi pictures and vlogs of this location, and it is somewhere I've always wanted to visit. And there it is. Let's see how close I can get to the edge. Show you a bit of a bird's eye view. Pretty epic. Um, I'm not sure of what image I'm going to get in such high water, but I thought I'd come and check it out since I'm in this neck of the woods. And yeah, looking pretty sweet. I love the contrast between the brown leaves, the green walls and the red water. Absolutely beautiful. So, I've started the descent into the Devil's Pulpit and so far the only thing that seems devilish is these steps going down like wow they are not easy they look sketchy they are sketchy and they look like they're about to just fall out <laughs> sketchy right i'll see you at the bottom So I've made it down here and I'm really glad that I am the only one here. One, because vlogging is so much easier when you're on your own. And two, there is not a lot of room. So I've got two options here mainly. One of the, one of the compositions is shooting down this way, but it's a massive shame. The logs have really cut up one of the scenes. They've really broken it up. So I can either try and take an image including them or I can try and step across onto this log here and clamber my way across over so I've got a nice clean image shooting down the gorge and I think that might be what I'll try and do and that'll be probably my first composition for the other composition this morning is just around this corner now I'm not sure how far up I can get but I can hear a bit of a waterfall around this corner but look at that, just easily just that looks absolutely incredible with the vibrant green walls, the drips coming from the sides and the bubbles coming down the middle. It looks absolutely beautiful. So how I'm going to tackle this is I'm going to get the camera set up here with all of the filters I think that I'll need and then I'll put my bag on my back and off I'll go to see if I can make this work. But wow, that climb down was totally worth it. So I've got everything I think I'll need. I've got my cloth to wipe my lens just in case I get any drips on there. And I've put my polarizer on and my graduate neutral density filter. And I've pushed it down really quite far because I want to minimize the light coming in. But there isn't a lot of light in here, so I should be okay for that. Right, here comes the tricky part. I was gonna come across, and I've made it across myself, and it would have worked out to be quite a nice image. I'm gonna see if I can get the camera so I'm shooting above this big tree just over here. But I've just realized getting onto here might be okay, but getting back off here holding my camera, nah. Without somebody to hand my camera to, not a chance. Not a chance, I am not taking that risk because all it takes is one little slip and I'm gone. So because I'm a massive wuss and I then risk my camera going out there, um, what I've decided to do is zoom in all the way to 70 mil. Uh, I've got my camera, so I'm cutting off the log at the bottom, so it's leaving me very little water at the, in, in the bottom of the canyon, which is a massive shame, a massive shame, because that's really where the beautiful interest is. 
Uh, I've got my polarizer on the front and that's cutting off the glare of the water. So it's making that color nice and rich, really nice and rich. I've got that neutral density filter inside getting nice balanced shot all the way through. I've got it on an L10, F11, which is giving me, according to this, a 30 second exposure. I think that might be slightly exposed, overexposed, but I'll see what the camera thinks. It is quite dark in here, quite dull, but 30 seconds, I don't know, like, anyway, I'll see what the image looks like when it's done. There we go, the composition is done, complete, and actually 30 seconds was pretty perfect for this low light. Next though, I'm gonna head round the corner and see how far up the stream I can get following the little lip on the side. I think I can get pretty far up, fingers crossed to a beautiful composition. Because I like that one, but I think they can be better. I think they can be way better. Right, wish me luck. I tried to head up. It's too deep for my little wellies. I'd need blooming waders to be able to get up there, which is such a massive shame. I've come all this way to film a beautiful vlog, and it is an epic location, but I don't think I'm gonna get anything. I've got one image. I might be able to get another image shooting up this way. I'll show you what I mean. So I've got this pretty cool shaped rock just at the end, just here with these huge walls above and these nice bubbles coming down the center part. And I think that might make quite a nice image just, just using this section right here, cutting that top bit off, cutting most of this bottom bit off, getting rid of this tree that's in the way. But the water's just too deep. I think it'd go over my wellies. Like, I can see the bottom, but I think it'd go over my wellies. But I got all the way up to about this point up here, and then this little shelf that I'm stood on right now disappears. So for this composition, I've done a very similar thing to what I did last time, and unfortunately I can't get out far enough to put this interesting shape of rock in the center of the image. So it is a little bit not balanced too much. But what I've got that is making it that little bit more balanced, I've got this nice little line of bubbles that are coming down the right hand side and that is guiding your eye perfectly round into that rock formation. And I think it's okay, it's, it's not the best shot I've ever taken, don't get me wrong. And I think to get the best shots in this location, you need that water to be lower and some waders, some good solid waders that are gonna get you nice and high up to all of the most amazing points, which unfortunately I don't have. If I could, that would be the bit that I'd like to have got to. Um, but for climbing down, way too much of a risk. <laughs> Not without some ropes, some harnesses, and some safety rescue equipment would I be going down there. But that is the point that I would have loved to have got to, that waterfall cascading down with the green canyon going off in the distance, that would have been absolutely epic. I do feel I have got two nice images, which, you know, two is better than none, I have to say. But I know I have to come back here, possibly with waders, 
I've never thought about buying waders before, but for this location, it might be worth it. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. It has been short, it has been sweet, but definitely check it out. Definitely when it's in lower water than it is now. If there's been a dry spell, head to the Devil's Canyon for sure. Devil's Pulpit, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.